dude, they're so they're losing it over this Trump McDonald's thing. I think that I think he's gonna win, dude. He might you see him based do on this reaction minutes? over because if you're like a if you're an undecided voter, and you're saying oh it's a threat to democracy, all these things, which very well may be true. But then it's like he just hands somebody fries at McDonald's and they're like, this is fascism. You're like, well, I know that isn't. You know what I mean? I know yeah. working at McDonald's isn't fascism. Yeah. It can't be everything. Yeah, right. Exactly. He's just he, the stuff when. And I wanted I got McDonald's after that. I was like, that makes me miss McDonald's. Yeah, I, true. I got Remember it. as a kid, I you got go to McDonald's too. and Donald Trump would be working. Did you, there. Get, <laughs> did you get the, the chicken Big Mac? It looks terrible. You, I, you have to try it. I tried it. The mature response is that it is neither as good as the Big Mac nor the McChicken, but it is a noble attempt at a new menu item. Wait, why is that the mature response? It's because not, when they, you've had enough McDonald's... If we're, if we're being you know, honest, the, Mc, the McDonald's menu is not what it used to be. It had kind mean, of a renaissance in like 2008 when they introduced the chicken selects. And then they got I you have it. Wow, I have huge. it once a week. Welcome to the Adam Friedland show. <laughs> That's our new banter segment before we do our Welcome to the Adam Friedland show. McDonald's, a fascist institution. A fascist institution. And did you see this? I saw this on MSNBC the other night. They talked to real fry cooks. Apparently, Donald Trump made the fries wrong. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> this man's unfit to be president. Were people tweeting about that? He, they made were the fri- he made the fries wrong. He didn't have a hairnet on. I mean, it's like, who's this guy? Adolf Hitler? Yeah. <laughs> you know who would do that? Adolf Hitler and Stalin. Both of them. <laughs> yeah. He's both Hitler and Stalin and Darth yeah. Vader. Yeah. That's who would... who would uh, And the Meryl Streep, the Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. He didn't yeah. have the headset on, which you need for the drive through So that's how you know it was staged. Oh, it was it was complete. That was staged. Fake. It was staged. Yeah. Oh my god. Which you know, I mean, if he's gonna lie about working at McDonald's, what else would he lie about? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> it was directed by Stanley Kubrick, who mm-hmm. did the moon landing as well. I don't know if you knew that. His McDonald's appearance. His yeah, yeah. It's 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 state media. Uh, you know, this is nothing you see is real. <laughs> nothing you see. What is happens to real. Kamala if she loses? Um, she gets a promotion somehow. She no, it's not because she. Money. It's not like she can be on CNN. You she know what I mean? She gets some yeah, sort. Wait, of why? Because she's not. She can't really communicate. Yeah, she's well. not good off the oh, cuff. Okay. Yeah, she's yeah. not like she's going to be a talking head. Yeah. on anything. She starts a foundation and then somehow makes. She should have a YouTube channel for like purses or something or candles. Oh, that'd be cool. Like yeah. a get ready with me kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you think she even knows that stuff? What do you mean? I feel like she's just like a... No, there's got to be... Like, she's a human being. I'm sure she has interests that they're like, you can't tell people about this. Whenever (laughs) she's expressed... (laughs) Whenever she's expressed what those interests are, it's like, no, like... Like when she was like, two pack. But that's not what I mean. That's that's fake. Right, so what... That's like focus group tested interests. Yeah, right. She has to actually have some kind of like fixation. What do you think it is for her? I joking. would imagine, yeah, candles. Jelking, or, maybe. Jelking. Yeah. What's jelking? I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's stretching your penis. It's like an Arab word for jacking off. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have jacking off there, so that it's like a secret thing. Yeah. <laughs> jelking. Uh, our guest said Jamie Wolf. I had a crazy weekend. I was in Tacoma, doing the club there. Yikes! And my hotel. I get there and it looked like they were setting up for like prom. It was like a dance or something. I couldn't tell if it was a wedding or a dance, but there was like the people were dressed wrong. Like the, it was mostly women, mostly heavy set women, and they were like wearing like the clothes were like too fancy, you know, for for it to be like a wedding or something. And I'm like, what is this? And I figured out it's a convention, and it's a convention for female like self published fantasy smut. And so it was like the the dragon queens like like uh, harem, you know. It's like all these like self published books, and the, all the authors are there. Yeah, and they're all named like Devin or Dakota. They all have like <laughs> obese pen names, <laughs> and there's people getting like books signed and stuff. I don't want to be like too mean about it, but it was bizarre. And then that had overlap with like the Filipino Seattle communities. Like they had their like 89th gala 
at the hotel. So then it was like Those seeing, two groups seeing these two groups, yeah, intersect. Did they intersect at all? Was it a melting pot? In, or the, did they in the in the market, so you'd see everybody having coffee, and it would be like it would be like uh, like a lesbian couple wearing fucking literally Jack Skellington onesies, having coffee <laughs> next to <laughs> like a fifty five year old Filipino yeah. thing. But it was very funny because like who they got. So for the Filipino community, for their evenings entertainment, is they had two principal dancers from the Pacific Northwest Ballet doing Swan Lake. And then they had wow. like a, and then, but then the, the obese writer community, they had like a, an enchanted forest ball w- with it featuring cosplay, you know? <laughs> so imagine walking into the wrong room, you know, it, <laughs> I, the Filipinos out of all people on earth like to have the most fun. Mm-hmm. They are the most, they are the well, best. Well, I would say they got upstaged by the... Um, really? Yeah, because I, I, I was like looking into what these books are, you know, and it's, it is a lot of... Because it's like, uh, it's, it's, I, I, I would imagine this is all an outgrowth of the success of Fifty Shades of Grey. Right. But yeah, all of the books are, you know, yeah, it's like self-published stuff, but then the plot lines are always like, oh, I'm, they have, it's like, it's called the Omega Sphere. And so women write about it where there's like alphas and betas and then omegas and omegas are like the sex slaves, basically. But in their world, oh my God. it's like men who are enslaved to fuck. Them. No, it's the women are enslaved and they yeah, have to they find a pack of alphas. Up. But then there's all of these things that are givens within the genre, such as like nodding and scent matching. So like <laughs> people like the, the alphas <laughs> have like packs. So then they'll describe it. It'll be like, oh, it's like, you know, it's like two more years. So I get my trust fund. Luckily, I found a pack of alphas and they and they they nodded me, which means they have. So in the Omega sphere, <laughs> the man's penis has a knot like a dog's penis. So it gets stuck in the woman's vagina or ass. And uh, what? Yeah. And these are things that are just like given. So you'll be what reading was the a book. name of this Th- event. Did it have a name? This convention? <laughs> Yes, it was. It was called uh, books, gowns, and crowns. I don't know. <laughs> and this one was chapter three. I did some light googling. I guess there was controversy this year because of some transphobia at the oh. last. There was in was the Omega Sphere. In the Omega Sphere, there How was could transphobic. You be transphobic. If you have like a knot on your penis, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, it's like they're dogs, or the, but there wasn't. It wasn't like a furry <laughs> thing. Like, it was just how. Like a, I don't. I don't want to. In my imagination. This is one of the fattest lady events I can imagine. Surprisingly, a lot of them were like, I would say, like, not unattractive, but then they had their husbands there with them. That was the oh thing. Oh, my God. I did a lot of eavesdropping over were the Were there, like, are their husbands, like, alphas? I think their husbands are, are guys who just kind of nailed it. I imagine that these women, like, <laughs> just do everything, and then they're like, yeah, my wife, she, like, self-publishes books, and I kind of really don't do... I don't really do much anything. I just come to these conventions and, you know. Just kind of show up. Yeah, right, yeah. Her, give her the books to be signed. Yeah, right, yeah. That That's crazy that they're transphobic. That's what gets me. I, oh, yeah. transphobia that in that community. I that think that competes, competes for you? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I can't right. imagine one of those things would exist without some kind of controversy. You know what I mean? Well, I imagine it's yeah, very 65 well, at, years at, at old. At the core of all of it, they're all dramatists, you know? I mean, yeah. they're, so they're addicted to stories and... And narrative. Right, and so there yeah. has to be there has to be some kind of conflict. It's just funny to be like a right-wing political commentator who also <laughs> makes those... Vo- like yeah. men, women have vaginas and men have knotted penises that they put I in I wouldn't say asshole. it's right I'm sure I, it, was some, it was probably something simple, like they didn't have enough bathrooms at the last event and then, you know, uh-huh. somebody didn't apologize the right way. <laughs> no, I think it's probably like... It, because no, you've seen like that. You've seen that DSA video where that that trans person gets mad because somebody said, "Guys, we got a it's yeah. a big year coming Can we up." We not use gendered language. Yeah, yeah. Please stop Please saying stop. guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then just that that poor woman hosting had to be like, "Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. yep, yeah, <laughs> definitely." <laughs> um, no, I imagine like it's in that generation of like feminists. Like, that's where you find the uh, TERFs. Okay. Because they're like, we're writing these books and it's very, like, liberating for women talking about our, like, sexual proclivities and bondage and stuff. And, uh, but, yeah, yeah, that generation of feminists is typically, like, the, the J.K. Rowlings of the world. Right. It's typically where you find the, like, ones that are like, well, you don't have periods. You weren't with us uh, burning our bras 
and getting raw dogged at Woodstock. <laughs> Where were you when when I was when my my vagina was just being penetrated? <laughs> when my incredibly hairy bush was being penetrated, and then I did nothing for the rest of my life. But I p- pretended that that makes me a. a former feminist uh, revolutionary yeah true yeah it's it's so it's just weird to me to be that you know that that into like sexual fantasy and that open-minded except when it comes the, to one the specific. weirdest part for me is that like this is would all fall ostensibly under the nerd umbrella you know like i mean the male equivalent would be like a i don't know like a star trek convention or something you know or something for like roblox perhaps but um they're still writing the books which requires like a certain degree of effort and discipline. So they're like, they're still very productive, which is like counter to, I guess what the male version would be where it's like, these guys aren't even taking a shower. You know what I mean? They do nothing. They just consume. That's the thing that's like annoying about like the guy versions of those. It's like people that show up and they have expertise in consumption. Like yeah. they don't make anything. They don't well, fucking they do the it. Costumes. They just have, they don't even make the costumes, not the Star Trek guys. They fucking buy those. <laughs> if they're, if they're at the point where they have to make their own costumes, they should be getting gastric bypass surgery, <laughs> <laughs> which they can't even true. do that. They can't even go on their That's own true. diets. Yeah. So it's like, you see them and it, it's like, you know, you want to imagine them as being lazy, but then it's like, well, this woman's written 17 books. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> And that's that's crazy to me. Yeah. There has to be so much catty infighting, though. Like uh, ladies that have read other ladies' books and then say that they're not as as disgustingly horny. If your mom is going to that <laughs> also. Not. I mean, it, I feel bad for the kids of yeah. those people. Yeah. My, my aunt wrote sort of a book like this. Mm-hmm. She's um, She wrote kind of a sci-fi version of this. It was sort of smut. The the main character in the book was 14 years old. This is all true. It's a 14 year old main character. She was married. She's now divorced. <laughs> the the main character was 14 years old, and she marries like a 43 year old guy in the book. And they they so like she wrote the, the Quran. Is yeah. what she wrote. It's yeah. sort of. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Muslim I'm, book. I'm just kidding. That's I don't know if that's even in there. <laughs> we don't need to shit on the Quran on the show for no reason. <laughs> I'm sure every religious book has the same story. Why are you backtracking like you're going to get canceled? <sighs> well, no, I just feel bad for the Quran right now. <laughs> right now? Yeah, yeah, for now. Yeah, no, come on. Come you on. can cut you can cut Muslims some slack right now. <laughs> right at now. least at least till this thing wraps up and then we can yeah. go back there. <laughs> it's a great book. Can you imagine how much of an asshole you'd have to be right now to be like, "Well, I'm drawing Muhammad." <laughs> Like just France, sending sending, the, sending cartoons of Muhammad to Palestinians. They're like, that wasn't even us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wasn't us that was mad about that. That was people in Denmark. Also, this is a cartoon of Sonic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a ho- Sonic with a huge cock. <laughs> <laughs> sending and them. It, you just wrote the word Muhammad over his head. <laughs> it has nothing to do with our religion. Yeah, I never understood that, that like you can't draw, you can't, like portray the prophet muhammad that's like you can't draw any people but then you're allowed to name your like shitty fuck up son after him like it's the most popular name yeah is muhammad yeah which it's like that seems like it's that's more of uh there were there probably more guys named muhammad that didn't do anything with their lives now yeah you know what i mean but you can't draw him you can't draw the actual guy even like being good at stuff (laughs) <laughs> like you couldn't draw him, you couldn't draw him like fucking like acing the SAT, or scoring a yeah. free kick. From yeah, exactly. You're not out. allowed to do that. But like <laughs> your son with Down syndrome, you're like, oh yeah, this is Mah- this is Muhammad, like the prophet. Muhammad yeah. dunking on LeBron. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kalshi, guys. Kalshi. Kalshi, last t- uh, last week we told you about Kalshi, and, and we're guys, telling you about it and again. We're telling it, you about it again, guys. This is the only one hundred percent completely legal online gambling where you can bet on things. Okay, where you bet, bet on anything, I guess. I'm excited to show you an app called Kalshi. It's the first legal exchange where you could trade or bet on anything, any event. What What do you want to bet on? What would I bet on? That's not sports, just anything. Um, 
I get, the election would be fun to bet yeah, on. Well, you could do That's that. That's what I've been because look. So apparently, all the like, uh, like uh, Trump's up and all of the yeah the you betting, know, all the betting stuff, right? And Kalsi's one of them where he's up. And I don't really know how betting works. Maybe I can figure it out. But, like, that's just, that's not, that's, like, disconnected from the polls, I guess. You know? So betting on Kamala seems like a good idea right now. Yeah, when she's down in the betting. In the betting. In the right. betting. That's a smart money move. But I don't know how it works. So it's like if they have Trump at 60% chance of winning, you bet 100 bucks, And then you win what? Yeah, right. How does that work? Uh, <laughs> Why don't you take a look it, at your little paper, you Adam, and tell yeah, us. Yeah, does it say well, there? You can go to the website and find out what the odds are. Well, luckily, well, Adam are. has it but downloaded she just got, call she just got approval to list markets to trade on the outcome of the election, like you just said, making it the first legal place to trade on the election in 100 years. 100 years Wait, ago. wait, wait. What? Really? Yeah. I guess they used to have this crap. It was illegal to trade on the election before this? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Guys, call she has That's why if you go if you go to their website, the first thing that comes up is the election. Okay. So what, they got Trump at fifty eight and Kamala at forty two. But now you guys all have to go and bet on Donald Trump to drive the odds up and then right before election night I'm gonna place a bet on Kamala at zero percent. Yeah. And make untold millions. <laughs> yeah. I'm betting every dollar I have. You think she's gonna win? No, but I'll bet on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Because, I mean, the polls say it's a 50-50 yeah. chance, Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So if that's As the actual know, the polls, odds, the then why, are, why have not? been wrong, you know? Much like uh, when Hillary was up big in the polls right before the election. Yeah, but Romney was up in, or close in 2012. Yeah. Well, I think that's what they're doing. They're, they're psyching out, like, uh, the, the people to drive turnout. Yeah, and then 2022 is wrong, but that's midterms. Does that even count? Does anyone even vote? What would be like 50 In the people? midterms? Yeah. I think it's like 50% yeah, of what people. would vote. Nobody, yeah, nobody votes in those, so that one doesn't really count. Anyways, you guys got to drive up these odds so that, uh, yeah. All right, call she has markets on who will win the presidential election. Who will control the House and Senate and who will win the swing states and more? Right now, Trump and Kamala are trading at about 50-50. Not true. Uh, Nick actually ch checked the live odds. It's, uh, what is it, 58-42, meaning it's the first bet, uh, place that you can bet on either. Uh, you will double your money if they end up winning. Isn't that incredible? So if it's 50-50, you double. Okay. What if it's 58-42 and you bet on Trump? 58 uh then you get a little bit less than than you, your original investment i i imagine i i would assume call she has already facilitated over 1 billion in trades the elections uh markets will the where you can sign up using my link at callshe.com slash tafs and the first 500 traders who deposit 50 dollars will get a free 20 dollar credit that's that's fucking that's a great deal, guys. So once again, sign up using my link, callshe.com slash TAFS, and run, guys, and become one of the first 500 traders. And if you deposit $50, you oh, this get is cool. $20. They have, to have uh, open access to their API right on the main page. So you can write your own Apple Vision Pro app. So when you walk around, you can bet on You can be like, I think that guy's gay. Yeah, and you, 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 you're just looking at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and place a bet with your mind. Yeah, I bet this kid <laughs> isn't selling money for s selling candy for his basketball team. You know, yeah. racist. Well, you could. You, I. <laughs> it's not <laughs> racist. It's that's like a, I want to see you, what's your record this year, sir. That's racist. No, it's not. He's selling. He says it's for his basketball team. And so, what if it isn't? If it's not, then you, I still buy the candy. Because you know I love candy. Oh. But just say I'm selling candy. Candy's delicious. Do they still do the thing where they're like, look, I don't want to rob you, but I'm selling candy? <laughs> no. You know, they, they, people they, say that? Yeah, they used to do that. They'd be like, I'm out here so I don't have to rob people. Oh, no, but, but that's I'm a good way candy. to... Yeah, because it used to be that. And then it was also the basketball team, but... <laughs> well, they don't say rob. They say I'm. I'm, I'm doing I this. Don't so I want to be out on the street, street hustling, hustling, robbing, and knifing, bad boy, stabbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said that to you. Yeah, yeah. They, they, would, say, well, they would announce it to the train. Oh, yeah, wow. and they can't anymore because of. I guess the trial of that uh, the guy that killed Michael Jackson is starting this week. Yes. Can you bet really? on that? 
the the like Aryan guy, the MMA choke guy. Yeah. Yeah, that was like w- uh, one year ago. There's jury selection. Actually, I got a summons. What if I just am on that jury? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> and you're like giggling, and no one thinks you're funny, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be. Ga- I would be stoic. Yeah. I would be stoic. And I would just do 12 angry men, but one of them's a giggling (laughs) idiot that didn't pay attention to the trial at all. So I guess (laughs) they get into like this, the sexed messaging aspect of uh, like, what what was that lady? Uh, That uh, lady that killed her kid that they were like reading all her sex and stuff. Uh, This is is the kind of stuff you'd be saying in there. He'd be in the yeah, he'd be in the jury room or whatever. <laughs> <being> like <laughs> the, the sex, <laughs> <laughs> putting emphasis on it in a way that he thinks is funny. And people are like, "What are you d- doing? This is a murder trial." <laughs> I'll be like, oh, "I can't wait. Out. They're gonna get to the sex." Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you should respond to that summons for sure. Well, what you have to, right? Or where you you I can blow it off. Don't they don't. Know. Yeah, I've never responded to one. They're like, oh, don't say we'll that. come get you. They're gonna you, come get you. No, they won't. How? No, they won't. Yeah, the sheriff will. And then what? Like the fucking drag you off? New York has a sheriff. Like it's the Ukrainian army. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to go do a like a they're civil gonna trial. Me, they're gonna send me to Israel. <laughs> no, it's like uh, it, it was great doing it back when I didn't have a job because then you'd be like, oh yeah, I need the money. Cause I'm, I got to take off work for this. Yeah, true. And then um, I didn't even do anything to not get selected. They just didn't want me for any one of the. It was like a whole day where they send you in and they're like, well, definitely not that guy. I think I heard if you just say you're a comedian, they, they will not select you. Oh, really? Yeah. They oh. go, we definitely don't want a comedian on this jury. Oh, really? Like Adam Fried, they don't want like Adam Friedland on the well, jury for. Uh huh. Yeah. Obvious. I'd be like, this is going to give me great bits for my the podcast. I was in, I, I was in one <laughs> of the rooms. up for that. I was in one of the rooms and they were going through and like asking everybody and they got the one older lady and they asked her what she did. She said she was a federal judge. And then the lawyers were like, oh, they like got all like, <laughs> like deferential and respectful to the really? federal judge. Yeah. Cause I guess in their world, that's like, Your yeah, majesty. that's like their Bill Cosby basically <laughs> is that lady. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if you were like just hanging out of the stand and you ask some older white lady your name and you're not thinking twice about it and she's like my name is Bill Cosby and you're like oh my god oh wow this Madame is Bill Cosby <laughs> this is Bill Cosby oh my god uh-huh. you're a legend and she's wearing the robe and stuff yeah uh I could tell them yeah I could tell them that I uh I consider myself an attorney even you could also bet on it at call she you can bet on a call sheet, guys. Which, do we, is there a promo code you want to tell I about? I just said them. You want to tell about how you signed up for it? and You can sign up the first how 500 signups did, we how get. You did. I signed up using my code TAFS at, at callsheet.com slash TAFS. And, and tell them about some of the bets you placed and how you did. I bet I bet big on uh, on the election. On, uh, I'm that hasn't happened yet. So <laughs> why don't you tell them about one of the bets you placed? Where? Well, let's go. What? What else? Is why don't on you this look through your account? When? I'm remember how we got the text and they said Adam download. Remember how they said you, you know you got to download the app, I'm Adam. I'm looking. Callshe.com. Did you okay. bet on Biden dropping out? Uh no, I lost big on that one. I bet on. Uh, did Jimmy Carter die, or do they? Are we just acting like he's dead? Did he die? I, I think so. I think he voted for Kamala, and then they started talking about him like he did that, and then he died. <laughs> They're like, he lived long enough to do the one thing he, we needed him for. I think he's dead. Yeah, I think he's dead. Is he dead? Is that, is that not true? Up. Let me look it up. His, his bitch died. Oh, his wife died. Oh, sorry, wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not dead. They're it's acting, all politics. They're acting bet. like he's dead. He's 100 years old, but... He's a hundred. He's a hundred years. There should old. be a there should be a uh, maximum cap on voting. Yeah, there should be a term limit for life. I don't think. That, <laughs> yeah, I don't think you should live to a hundred. Yeah. No. Oh, so I bet on unemployment in November. That's disgusting, dude. Like that French lady that lived to like a hundred and twenty. Yeah. That's like what a turtle does. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, here's a good one. Uh, the Rotten Tomatoes score of Wicked. Will it be above forty five or above sixty? Or Didn't that come out like 14 what? years ago? No, the there's a movie. Oh, there's Wicked. a movie. 
Yeah. I thought there was already a movie. Wait, wait. There's only two options. It's only above 45 or 60. Yeah. Who the fuck made How could this? that be a... It doesn't make any sense. What about below that? Uh, you, you can't bet on it. Because <laughs> everyone knows that it's going to be 100%. There's no way it gets beneath 45% on Rotten Tomatoes. Do they specify critic or audience reviews? Uh, it just says Rotten Tomatoes. Also, well, what's Trump the cutoff? Hold on, on because Rogan. that doesn't, it doesn't seem. It doesn't what's the cutoff on that? Because it's it's always variable. That's okay. Will Trump <laughs> go on change. Rogan? It's always yeah, changing. Yeah, yeah. Will you Trump vote to make it Will lower. Trump go on Rogan? If you vote yes, it's ninety two percent. If you vote yes, if you that's already scheduled. It's happening. Okay, so I'm gonna bet no. If I put <laughs> why would you bet no? Maybe he'll get sick. If you do a hundred dollars on no, you get a thousand dollars and thirty-eight, one thousand thirty-eight dollars. Oh, okay. Hey, you should bet on that. Okay, here's one. Uh, Nick, will uh, okay? Here's a the Metacritic score of Metacritic. Yeah, of Call of Duty Black Ops Six. Okay. Okay. Will it be? 75 or greater, 80 this or greater. This is what I mean. This is like the this is the or male version or of greater. the gowns, frowns, and fucking rolls <laughs> <the> event. It's, <laughs> it's like betting on shit like this. The Metacritic score of uh, Black uh, Ops yeah, 6. Right. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is, is what is the guy version awesome. of that does. It's like they bet on stuff like this. Honestly, this is pretty awesome. I think this website's awesome. This is a great, actually, ad for them because I, I want to I wanna be the right. I want to be right on everything. I want to be like I told you so. Tesla production this quarter will it be above four hundred sixty nine thousand or above four hundred forty thousand? But what is what if it's this? B- all below? seems like it's like very much in like in in danger of like some sort of insider trading element. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can't just open these kinds of questions up. Yeah, to, Elon just like throws a, a especially building. the review websites where they, it's like an aggregate of maybe like four or five different outlets. If you work for one of those places, you can probably <laughs> control that outcome. <laughs> right? Yeah. If you're a if you're a movie reviewer, you just give a worse review to yeah. Wicked and then you make a lot more. Well, what money. I would do is I'd, I'd, I'd for tonight, get a, apply for a job at San Francisco Chronicle, right? I'd be like, I'm a, one of the greatest movie reviewers of all time. Bam, they hire me out of the gate because yeah. I told yeah, them yeah. I'm trans and Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> so then they have no choice. <laughs> and then I look at the reviews, when I whatever the cutoff is for this, right? And let's say Wicked's sitting at 67%, right? Yeah. I would see there's 10, inter- 10 reviews so far. I calculate that I need to give it a 13% review to drop it right below 45. And I'd say, this movie gets 13 out of 100 stars for me. <laughs> and then I forward it to Rotten Tomatoes. Guess who just made a million dollars every night? <laughs> and then they go in, they go into the bathroom at the San Francisco Chronicle, the trans bathroom. And they're like, where's, <laughs> where's Hassan? And there's no sight of me. And then I'm walking away like Kaiser Soze. Yeah. <laughs> And you don't have a limp anymore. Yeah, right. Them going up to you. Yeah. Where's Hassan? And that's the plot of my movie, The Gay Suspects. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. Will there be a hurricane that hits New York? See, all right. See, that's all it year. takes. If you're a sponsor and you sponsor this show. Also, this is. You, you probably are looking at the performance. You remember the, the reads of your where we would get into it. And then Adam's taking the helm. And he just, I mean, we've had feedback where they say you, got, you can't let Adam do the reads. The from the no, companies that advertise. My mind is from, so yeah, weak. They're like, you can't let him. <laughs> my mind is so weak. They, I've, we had that as a complaint one time from really? a sponsor. They were like, we've seen a tremendous drop off. In no, sales. that's not <laughs> true. They were like, they and were. We had to do like make goods. No, they were no, like, no. You were that's letting not Adam. True. They said they you were let some, Adam there were some talk fans. too much. No, they were bullshit <laughs> fans trying to suck up to Nick. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was yes, the it was. No, it was a bullshit. No, it was like a bullshit like a fake weed company or something and they were like adam is a bug dude yeah let's have nick re- do- what about nick well they stopped doing business with us well because that. their wow. product yeah. is, should be selling but dank b- ass back, chronic uh, back, and not fake back uh, to my point all you have to do is fuck actually, them. F- actually twist his arm them. into using any of this stuff and he loves it <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's above everything but you look you just uh, he's never looked at the website until now he's and he does excited. and he's like this is cool he's gonna go home and play some bets <laughs> It no, I'm gonna send to use. this. I'm gonna send this to my professional betting friends, guys who have made tens of millions of dollars in in this, 
and then I'll have them run their Russian university algorithms. They have they have rare Russian university mathematic algorithms that they run on sports. I betting. love those Russian disinformation campaigns. And it's not just it's real. Some information. of them are great. That one last week with the guy the the, the guy black insurrectionist who was saying that Tim Walls uh, sucked the boy's penis at yeah. an Indigo Girls concert. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, and it's just like four guys in Russia that are <laughs> like, listen, instead of going to the front, why don't we do this? <laughs> And then Putin's like, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty funny. Did Can they do that with Obama? They said Obama was gay for a while. Yeah, but I think, I don't know if that was Russians. I think that was just like, that was like homegrown, good old fashioned. An American guy. Just yeah, right. Yeah. I Larry was gay Sinclair. With Obama. Right. Yeah, exactly. But now, now the, the, the Russians are, you know, they're saying it's Russians. Now they're saying it's Iran too. They're saying Iran's doing that. Do, do you think that's, that's real? They're, they're I think really there's definitely, obviously like they have people trying to manipulate social media but every like they're trying to manipulate the platform that was created to manipulate manipulate. us you know (laughs) i mean it's like i I don't understand why you know just let it do its thing you don't need to pile it's also yeah it's like i mean we've it's it's such a trite point but i mean we've we have no respect for democracy internationally right i i yeah yeah but do we do that to Russia? Because don't didn't yeah. we like fund na- naval name? Oh yeah, guy? no, yeah, like, we do the exact same since, thing since the fall of the Soviet Union. We, I mean, we kind of put Putin in place to begin with, right? Exi- right. Yeah. But we also do the opposite, which is we actually it's always actually successful when we do it. When we run these campaigns, like yeah, I'm thinking what Venezuela, uh huh, like the the places where we do this. Who do, was the guy that just tried to do it with? What's uh. You know, in South America. This is awesome. Uh, G- Gato. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Gato. Who? Gato. Well, who's the guy they fucking, they had, they had like some. Uh, in Venezuela? Yeah. Yeah, that other guy. Yeah, right. That didn't work, did it? Uh, They're still trying to yeah. get that guy. Gato. I don't think we can do it really anymore. I think okay. our ability to manipulate Let's things see the, is diminishing. Yeah. Okay, here are all the bets related to Taylor Swift. Oh, we're still doing that. Sorry, yeah. I'm, I just can't stop looking. Mm-hmm. Will Taylor Swift die tomorrow from a gunshot wound to the head? <laughs> Bet now. <laughs> <laughs> and then what you do is you get a job at the San Francisco Chronicle, right? <laughs> and, then you buy a, and then you buy a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, "Why did you get a job?" I'm like, "I had this other thing going with Medicare. <laughs> it was for the cover, <laughs> yeah. for my cover." <laughs> right. There would be, there would never be a guy <laughs> in the San Francisco Chronicle kill that. Mm-hmm. Not, not real. We wouldn't act. Okay. Have you been? Have you ever been to the Pacific Northwest and it's been nice out? No. Like I know yes. the stereotype is that it's shitty and rainy, and every time I've been there, it's shitty and rainy and depressing. And then, but then people there are always like, "Oh, you just missed it." I'm like, "Miss what?" <laughs> That's that's the reputation of this place, and every time I'm here, it looks like this. Yeah, it's a, it's not a nice place to be homeless, but somehow there's more and more each time. And we apparently, go there. we're gonna have La Nina this year. What is that? What's that? It's remember El Nino. This is the girl version. Oh my god! What, what so does that how's mean? It different? I think it's the opposite. So less rain. Less rain. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. It's dry. It'll be a dry, mild winter, oh, which I don't nice. know why there's a name for that. You could just say dry. Uh, yeah, winter. right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's a it's Latinx style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I really want to keep looking at these bats. Okay. We don't have to. Why is it called El Nino? No. Did like Marquez name those? Because <laughs> El Nino Gonzalez. Yeah, it's such like a <laughs> stupid name. Random Spanish yeah. names. <laughs> right. It's the ma- the ma- weather so magical at this time. You El know Platano. what I mean? Well, you could right. bet on the climate actually. The number of tornadoes next month, above 10, above 20. We, what are we saying? Above 10? Actually? Above Wait, 20? I don't understand the way yes. this betting is. Why are there two bets that are in the same direction? It's well, either above 10 or above yes 20. Or you no. have to so bet above t- 10. So you're saying, is it above 20? You say, yes. Because I think no. all of their bets are like binary. They're all one or the other. But if you bet above 10, you're also including because the, the, above 20. Uh, yeah, but the odds... Well, then I guess it would have to be in that window, right? It would have to be bet- between 10 and 20. There's probably never less than 10 tornadoes. Yeah, I would, I would imagine. Yeah. You could bet on the high temperature in NYC today. Okay. <laughs> the high today is 75. Okay, so 
we have a little insider info there. 75 to 76. Okay, so I'm going to say yes. Wait, am I making... Is this website... Now it's it's not working. Honestly, Did you I'm going to put $10,000 on that it's going to be 75 to 76 degrees, which according to my phone... Because we already reached the high. Yeah. You've gotten so consumed by this in such a short period of time. Well, it's I just... It's the, the potential to start over again, you know? I just put... I bet the house on, on that it's going to be 75 degrees today. Yeah. I bet all of my money... I'm, I'm walking away with maybe $30,000, okay? Then I can go to Turkey, get the rhinoplasty, finally, get the new teeth... <laughs> Get the facelift. Big pair of Turkish chompers. Get the get the the hair plugs to like right above my eyebrows. Just be the hottest guy ever. You know, move to Thailand. What? Well, it's cheap there. Okay. What do you mean what? Why Thailand? Because it's affordable. It's cheap and okay. No, don't. No, it's not a sexual thing. That it's just cheap. What is it a sexual thing? Ben on call sheet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sexual. I'm, I'm is not it for children there. or for grown women? Or like Ad, is Adam Friedland moving to Thailand for children or for uh, for men that have transitioned? Yeah. For ex- well, yeah. Is or it for lady boys or for four year olds? Which one is Adam going to Thailand for? No, it's just to be the biggest podcaster in in Thailand. I okay. feel like it's an untapped market there. Here it's saturated. You know what would be a great show, like an uh, hour long comedy. Is Adam like his, his career is not really going well, so he moves to Europe thinking that he's going to be like a great comedian over there. Yeah, and he just becomes like a j- total <laughs> laughing stock. It and, still know, doesn't I mean, work. In yeah, that, well, it still doesn't work hitting. over there. But he's such an idiot that they're like, get a load of this fucking moron, dude. Yeah, and, and he becomes saying the it in biggest, their language. I don't but understand. He, yeah, right. He thinks he's like yeah. fucking. He thinks he's like he a, thinks he's like yeah this like cultural Louis. icon right yeah exactly yeah. yeah 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 turns out they're just laughing at and him they're laughing at him yeah, yeah. <laughs> in French yeah right. yeah <laughs> le clown <laughs> le clown uh huh <laughs> I'd watch that uh, le petit clown <laughs> yeah <laughs> the little clown it would be as good as the bear I would imagine. You yeah. don't like the bear? I haven't seen any of it, but no, just I'm, just the way it. it's packaged, I can't. Like I don't, I don't care about restaurants, man. There's no way I it's that important. I don't care about restaurants. <laughs> There's no way. Is there a single scene in that show where they get to the end, they bring the food out, and some guy like takes two bites? He's like, so, anyways, next week we have the meeting with fucking, you know, and then they just throw the food out, and then they go to a real job where they do something. The problem with the bear is I, I, I used to live with like service people. Yeah. And the, after their shifts, like my three roommates were all in restaurants. They would just bitch. About and then we were pushing, and then we were like in the middle of a push, and they were like, and my f- the fucking manager, you know, they get so intense about it. And I'm like, I just have no reference point for it. And I was like, I don't care. I, I was at the creek in the cave tonight, <laughs> mm-hmm. I did a mic with for four people, so you know, congrats on your fucking restaurant, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to quit, I got molested. Uh, come on they <laughs> which is why people probably like the show it's like that's probably indic like you know that's a good representation of what it's like to be in a restaurant but yeah. i could not care less about being a chef at a restaurant yeah you know what i mean i yeah i don't care and it's presented with this like this gravitas befitting of like an emergency room <laughs> you know what i mean yeah it's like, like it's oh he's ER. got a railroad spike through his brain and we need to do so, you know yeah or like it's the carrots house. are over steamed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's completely inconsequential <laughs> thing. Yeah. There's a, there's a pube in my food. Right. Yeah. And then they have to find out who in the kitchen has a pube. Like a And yeah. then they're trying to win stars or something. I don't I can't tell you whether I've been to a restaurant that's won awards. I wouldn't know. It wouldn't like I wouldn't th- that wouldn't factor into my decision making whether to go to a place or not. It's like, I just need to go to dinner. This is the type of food I want. Let's try this. Was it good? Sure. But for them, it's the main goal of it's the whole the show. It's the only thing that matters. That's yeah. all it's about. Is getting, yeah. getting a James Beard award. Which, who the fuck was that? He was, was he a good chef? 
He, he was what, did, what did he make? I think he was a famous chef critic, I believe. Right, which is an even more Ugh. bullshit thing. Yeah. You know, you know the, the guy that I Pete have Wells dinner. from the New York Times. <laughs> just <laughs> I'm famous for having dinner. The, <laughs> you know, it's like, what the fuck is this whole culture? I don't get it. The, the New it, York t- I, It's yeah. really because it like Bourdain was like a great writer. Yeah. Right. And that, but that's what he was good at is writing. Yeah. And having a TV show and like a travelogue. Right. And most of the time it wasn't even about the food. It was about that he'd be in a place. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And then so people are like, oh, this is what being a chef is. And you it's should like, s- you well, should see the way this guy eats and writes about it. Right. If he was nonverbal, if like Anthony Bourdain like was like, I like to make the food, you know, and, and <laughs> even if he was the best chef in the world, none of this would have happened. Uh huh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the 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 New York Times critic, the main guy, just had to quit because he's like, I'm getting I'm I'm getting fat as shit. He's like, I can't. I'm going to kill myself. Is this made up or no, that's Pete a real? Wells, Pete Wells. He just like. He got too fat and then had he to He was quit. like, I, 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 well, he has to eat at a restaurant like three times a day. And he's like, I just can't. My body can't take. <laughs> my it's body can't too, take it. Like he's yeah. like an NFL running back. Well, I mean, kind of. <laughs> Sometimes you want a salad. Yeah. Yes. CTE. <laughs> From creme brulee. Yeah. Got brain damage. Yeah. My cr- <laughs> I'm not saying listen I, he's not a fucking he's not going to the VA hospital he's not a hero yeah but it does make sense that this guy like he's like yeah I'm, I'm getting too fat I can't I can't I know I like I I like doing this as a job but I can't it's it not d- good for it's killing me does that make sense to you because that does not make any sense to me if you I have mean, three if you it it a restaurant a, three times a day it made sense for could, that uh, that the Adam Richmond guy Who's that? He was on that show, Man vs. Food. Oh, yeah. You, right, right. I wish I could remember who it was. I, f- I feel like it was my roommate in Austin. Somebody told me a story about, like, they had a friend that met him. And they were like, he's actually, like, way fat in real life. And it's like, well, he looks fat on the show. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> like, it's like a show where he's like, I'm having fucking 15 milkshakes to prove Columbus wrong. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like, no, I mean, that was what the show was, right? He would go to a place and they're like, you can't eat this cheeseburger. He's like, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would do it, and then they'd put his picture on the wall, and and then he would go to another town and do the same thing. And He's we're supposed to be surprised. Yeah. That guy's fat. Uh, right, yeah, exactly. What? Yeah, that's how it was presented. Yeah. When did he gain weight? Like somebody was like pulling the curtain back. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually unhealthy to eat a truckload of food every day. Yeah. Well, no one's crying for him, I guess. No. But, yeah, it was very funny that my, my girlfriend was like, oh, Pete Wells quit. And I was like, who is that? She's like, oh. the, it's the New York Times food critic. He's the number one guy. But, like, his body can't take it anymore. How's there a number one guy for food? Like, am I wrong? Or is, like, it's just food. You like it or you don't. Why is there a guy he, telling you that's the That's what I mean. Food? This is why I can't get on board with, with the... Ba- I've, never, I've never watched more than a trailer for the show. <laughs> but because of that culture, I'm like, I just... I can't, man. I, I hate that. The idea that he's like, no, no, no. You like this restaurant i i remember he wrote a uh review of guy fieri's time times square restaurant that was very mean and it kind of went viral that was very you you said mean oh mean, mean. Yeah, yeah 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 it was so me but this to your point he wrote just a review writers. it was yeah. so me uh <laughs> <laughs> i was like what? no he was like i think he had something called like donkey sauce or something and he was like shitting on it but like i don't know it seemed it seemed pretty mean you yes. know you're also ruining people's businesses too. Like Yeah, true. You know, if you're being a bitch about their food. Yeah, it's it's one of those jobs you you can only really have a negative impact. I mm-hmm. doubt that someone goes because of a good review, but definitely people don't go because of bad reviews. Well, also if there's a good place that you know about and then someone blows it up, then like Then you, you know, can't even You can't yeah. Then yeah. the line is gonna be too long and I hate lines. Yeah. Remember when that happened to the coop in D.C. because Obama went there? Yeah. He ruined the restaurant. That place used to be great. He had a show that was like down the street. Then you go to this diner. We used to go there, yeah. Yeah, it was like 24 After. hours. It was great. You go there like 2 a.m. And then Obama went one time. And they had to like change the hours. I don't think it was like 24 hours after that. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was always mobbed. Really? Because Obama went once? Because he went one time, yeah. Yeah. Well, where, wherever he eats, I'll go. For mm-hmm. sure. Wherever Obama eats? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Why? Why is that? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. 
<laughs> I got in a fight with my girlfriend recently because I said I don't care about restaurants, and she was really upset. She well, yeah, because girls if she's, like restaurants. Well, she sounds specific. Is getting upset that Pete Wells quit is like a really niche specific I, I thing. I think it, a lot of girls are like that. I wouldn't make that's it. That's a real thing <laughs> to a lot of like girls. A women versus men thing. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I would have Chipotle every meal. What are you talking about? It's, like, <coughs> it's the best bang for your buck. And they just got brisket on the menu. Trump working at McDonald's is the first time in my life ever that I've been excited about a restaurant. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> have, that's the only time I've ever come close to... If that was The Bear, if there was an episode where they're like, Trump's going to come in and he's going to cook, I would watch that episode of The Bear. 100%. <laughs> and I'm like, well, he's saving the country. The cameos. Like making fries. Yeah. <laughs> Can we bet on that? Let's bet on Trump making a cameo in The Bear. Okay, let's try. No. They're still not loading. It's not loading. I want to go to that McDonald's so bad, dude. I want to be at the drive thru. I want to be like, thank you for the hamburger, Mr. President. <laughs> and he hands it to me. Well, remember <laughs> when he was president? I want that, dude. I want I can't I don't know like I, I can't explain what it was, but those pictures I saw them and I'm like Th- this speaks to me. You want to be there. Yeah, right. I want to be there. I want to, I want him handing me the bag. Yeah. Yeah, it's and like, it's fake, but I don't care. Uh-huh. It's yeah. your Woodstock. You saw it. You're like, right. I wish I could have been. Right. Paying $5 for things that were on the dollar menu <laughs> six years ago. <laughs> tipping. Tipping Yeah, a lot. right. Tipping. <laughs> Wait, Cornell West is running for president? Yeah. He always runs for president. Yeah, it's like every time. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say he will win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put one... Uh, Who's like voting for him? Like Wu Tang fans? <laughs> yeah. Like, who the fuck is like? F- yeah. Oh, yeah. This is. I gotta if vote I for put, Cornell West. If I put a thousand dollars on Cornell <laughs> West, I will. I will win. Ninety nine. I will win a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that's not enough. He's not going to win. <laughs> yeah, right. I should get a billion dollars. Yeah, you should, should get that's true. For losing a thousand dollars. You should get a cabinet position. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you bet on Cornell West, you should be the Secretary of State. The, the, yeah, the pay amount defense of money. Secretary. Yeah, right. <laughs> I should be Defense Secretary for Cornell West. Yeah. Cornell. Can you bet on you? Become? Cornell, our relationship with Israel is a, a strategic advantage in the region <laughs> did you see now they're fucking like all these people online are like blaming there's just some woman who's iranian that works at the department of state and they're like oh this is who leaked the intelligence report about like israel's like troop movements or whatever and i don't think there's any evidence of that they just it's just because yeah it's just because yeah, she's from iran wait so you could also do like um like uh contracts like uh like what is it like short selling or like uh so if i put a hundred thousand dollars on cornell west i'll get 4.5 million (laughs) dollars that makes sense but what does that mean i if i'm selling do you understand what that means Nick, you're you're a Wall Street guy. Uh, but I'm not like I never you really lost, understood. You lost a lot of money. I never crypto. understood derivatives. I don't really know I don't how that shit works. Derivatives trading, but let's say let's slap a hundred k on that. We get that four point five milli. But then I have to sell the contracts for two cents. I don't understand this amazing website. Yeah, get access. I'm signing up. Continue. No, no, with don't, Apple. Do, don't. If they have Apple Pay. Continue. No, n- Nick, don't. Email. <laughs> Nick, don't. 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 <laughs> don't put my face in. Nice, it worked. No, it didn't. This is crazy. Oh, and you have Apple Pay also. Don't Apple Pay it. <laughs> no, Nick, stop. I'm doing it just for the bit. No, don't. I don't have that kind of money to throw around. <laughs> okay, you can call your bank and dispute it. <laughs> but he's, we are now confirmed $100,000 no, cool. in contract. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. Nice. Amazing. Yeah, that worked. No, it didn't. All right, guys, you gotta, we got to get out the vote. <laughs> Cornell. Cornell West. I need Cornell Less West to win. Less than 1% chance. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? Huh? No, stop. Give me my phone. Dude, I, you're about I, to be, you're about playing. to have four and a half million dollars, my friend. <laughs> Really? Yeah. How could he win? What are his positions? I have, what? I have body positions? odor on one side. What Reverse cowgirl. Is that a stroke? <laughs> Mish. 
I've never heard I of that. I don't smell it all over here, but over here it's like you're sweating them. No, on Nick, you actually bet a hundred k. Yeah. I'll be in Denver this weekend. <laughs> the twenty fifth and twenty sixth. I'm. I owe a lot of money now, around town. No, you'll be fine. K? You just call your bank and dispute it. I have to call. Them. It's on video that I illegally placed a yeah, bet with your phone. So true. you could go to jail. I wouldn't go to jail unless you press charges, which I don't see why you would. Considering I'll pre- I'm going to press charges. Considering the dirt I have on this guy, dude. What dirt do you have on me? Uh, two tickets to Thailand. A journal entry that says I can't wait to f*** those children. No. <laughs> in, in cursive with little hearts over the eyes. <laughs> that evidence. <laughs> They're like, well, this is definitely his handwriting. <laughs> it's in pink jelly pen. Adam's got his jelly sandals and his jelly pens, and he's ready for Thailand. <laughs> All right, look, we, look, let's talk about Mint Mobile. I love a great deal as much as the next guy, but I'm not going to crawl through a bed of hot coals just to save a few bucks. It has to be easy. No hoops, no BS. So when Mint Mobile said it was easy to get wireless for $15 a month with the purchase of a three-month plan, I called them on it. Turns out that it really is easy to get wireless for $15 a month. The longest part of the process was the time I spent on hold waiting to break up with my old provider. It was like a break. It was a breakup. She was like, if if you break up with me, I'll... Have you ever had one of those? So funny. Uh, No, that's really... I I don't date those sorts of individuals. Those Verizon wireless. Um, To get started, go to mintmobile.com slash TAFS. (laughs) And then you'll see... uh, Okay... Oh, slash TFS. There you'll see that the right uh, that right now all three month plans are only fifteen dollars a month, including the unlimited plan. All plans come with high speed data, unlimited talk, and text delivered on the nation's five G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your own phone number. So along with your guys, you keep your old phone number. You keep all your contacts. Uh, you know, what I finally started using Air Tags. Yeah, like, I did too for my luggage. Yeah, my luggage has... I get, Ridge hooked it up and sent me the whole luggage set, which is uh, amazing. I was a little worried because I was replacing my Samsonite carry-on with the Ridge carry-on. How is it? Uh, it's perfect. Cause it's, really? Because the, the, the Ridge one's smaller than my Samsonite one. And the Samsonite one's like... It's it's like it's e- exact the maximum for yeah. you know, a carry-on. Yeah. So you can really cram shit in there. But I would go do these weekends on the road... And then it's like, I'm bringing this carry-on that's like 95% empty. Yes. You know? And then with the Ridge one, it's like perfect for four days, fits everything. It's got the cubes. I was shocked when I, when I zipped it up. I'm like, this is the perfect size. Um, and then I have the big one that you And you got air tags with it? Do you, well, it had an air tag holder in it. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll put a fucking air tag in this. And you got that? Case. Yeah. Yeah. Because air tags are pretty cheap. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a, th- a four pack from And then Costco. I put one on my keys also, but I, what I don't like is I wish it could go into the key hole because I have a key holder. Oh my gosh. And then it's like, well, if I have a key holder, why do I have a, a key thing chain. also? Chain, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. It should just be like on the thing. Uh, so get this new customer offer <laughs> and your new three month premium wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month. Go to mintmobile.com slash TAFS. That's mintmobile.com slash TAFS. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash TAFS. Owned by Ryan Reynolds. $45 <laughs> up from payment required. That's true. No. Yeah. He's like a major investor in Mint Mobile. Yeah. I think he Ryan Reynolds. Like, yeah. yeah. And why do you think he did that? He was like cheating on his wife. He's like, I need a second phone. And he was like, maybe if I buy the company, she'll yeah. never find out. <laughs> it's pretty he smart. just has all these cell Honestly. phones around the house. And he's like, I'm the CEO. I need nine phones. Um, new customers <laughs> on their first three. Of course, I'm te- checking the texting feature <laughs> with my assistant. It's my multiple female assistant. <laughs> okay, so guys, uh, I have to read this disclaimer. $45 upfront payment required. Which is the equivalent of fifteen dollars a month? Forty-five dollars is nothing now with inflation. That's nothing. That's remember like a the pack old of Dennis gum. Miller ten ten two twenty commercials. 
Yeah, I remember. Yeah. They say a buck can't buy anything anymore. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll buy you a one way trip to Zimbabwe to meet fucking Robert Mugabe. Mugabe. Robert Mugabe, right? Robert before Mugabe. The 1967. It's like his. Chachi. Are you done yet? It's like Hannibal Crossing. Are you done? No wonder this guy needs 10, 10, 2, 20. He never shuts up. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> New customers on their first three-month plan only speed slower above 40 uh, gigabytes in the unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions may apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Thank you, Mint. And the best part about Mint Mobile is you get to bring your own phone. Yeah. That's what I hate. I go your to Verizon phone, and they say you only number? have Ukrainian phones. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I have a, I don't, I have a U phone. I have an Urple U phone. It's made it's in Urple? Ukraine. Yeah. It's not, it's, oh. It looks like an iPhone, but it's different. I got it in Hasidic Williamsburg. Really? In a place called Phone For You. <laughs> and it, yeah. And so it's not an iPhone. It's a phone for you. <laughs> what? And every text, the first text is free, but every one after that, <laughs> $25, maybe $50, you know. <laughs> maybe maybe $100? Yeah, the best deal you've ever got. The first text, you pay nothing for, for it. For you, though. My after friend. that, it's a lot of money, you know. <laughs> Free Long. unlimited, mm -hmm. unlimited up to one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, how many buttons do you want on the phone? Uh, start off the number <laughs> one is free, but two, maybe twenty dollars. <laughs> if you want all the way to zero and this the special symbols, I mean, now you're talking <laughs> eight million dollars minimum. <laughs> no, my friend, let's make a deal, please. <laughs> my friend, let's make a deal, please. My friend, how about this? Do you have any change? <laughs> no, I'm not homeless. Can I have your car keys, please? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I can melt down your keys and turn it into jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are truly the worst. I I went to synagogue for the I first like time them. in 20 years. I, lo I love that they have them oh. in Israel. And even in Israel... They they're still like annoying. You know what I mean? No, they, they live off the government. <laughs> they don't work. Like in even in the like even in the Jewish state, they still have Jews. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's <laughs> like true. They still have they're like, what the fuck is you know They're the Jews of Israel. I know, basically. <laughs> Like, they won't go to the army. They protest. And it's like, they're not protesting the war. No. They're not like it's immoral. They're like, we just don't want to do anything. <laughs> and so they'll just, like, sit down in traffic and just <laughs> have to, like, drag them out of their cars. They're acting like dead fish. Yeah. Those guys that they that they have, like, as, like, anti-Israel, like, Hasids, like... I don't you, mean the ones going you, to protest here. I mean, look the, into those guys, though, it's like they're mad that, like women can drive in yeah. israel so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're not like people are like these guys are like at, like pro-palestine and stuff they're like no they want like they think that the messiah has to come back and then before kill, they can go yeah and, yeah and kill all the palestinians and kill every you know they're yeah, not, yeah they're not uh operating in good faith but those guys are well funny. i'll tell you i like a lazy guy i like somebody that's lazy i like a lazy and especially man. if they're causing problems yeah 100 <laughs> percent uh, but if they if they uh are like taking up uh traffic and they win too they just won whatever there was that dispute over making them enlist and then they had to walk that back they don't have to enlist they don't know yeah yeah i what, think based on what grounds uh, because Religious I guess grounds? like the way their government works is like Netanyahu needs the support of those religious yeah. people, so he had the to, way he's maintained power is by like basically appeasing them because those people because they all have twelve kids, mm -hmm. so they're, they're like a massive voting block. Right, that makes sense. So that's how I mean, whatever. They're the only ones that should get to stay. I think. I think so too. Yeah, yeah anyone last year they're not going. Nowhere. Yeah, right. They should all have to leave. Has to get out. Yeah, <laughs> if you're there to be a DJ, I don't if know. If you're doing, <laughs> if you're <laughs> doing <laughs> Burning Man, yeah, yeah right. you should go. Yeah. yeah, if you're like, uh, if you're like annoying and taking up, like you can't drive well. Yeah, and you're like stopping traffic in South Williamsburg. Mm -hmm. You should be able to stay. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> If you like are just fucking so annoying, right? And all you do is sell prepaid mobile phones and yeah. luggage. <laughs> there should be a whole country of that, <laughs> especially there. They yeah. should give them the nicest beaches, and you just can't use the beaches because <laughs> they're like filled with just shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like covered in garbage. 
<laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. But they would corner the real estate market and it would and put up the ugliest apartments you've yeah, ever seen. Yeah, just put up the with like gates. Just way too yeah. many sconces yeah. Yeah. and gates yeah, with gates. kids in them. Yeah. What are those kid like, gates? I think it's because it's like isn't during like the holidays you have to sleep outside and so it's yeah, like you put the kids. Yeah, you can That's right, right now. now actually. Yeah, They're it sleeping is. Sleeping in like tents outside and sometimes they have like those balconies they sleep in the yeah, yeah, yeah. which is balcony. weird too because the kids will just r- be running around at midnight oh, it's terrifying like in the middle of the night you'll just see them running around like brooklyn and it's like shouldn't you have like a at least a like a spy camera attached to you or something i i used to live in south williamsburg and they would have whenever i would come home from sets it could be 3 4 a.m uh-huh. there would always be children running around yeah and like a five-year-old pushing a stroller of a baby uh-huh. with no parent around yeah like a kid just doing an errand with a kid yeah uh, on on their way to i don't yeah. know something. i saw some of them in one of the tents the other night and they had like a walkie-talkie and they were like like communicating with each other with uh-huh. walkie talkies yeah and i'm like th- you guys are like five years old that's awesome dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's like awesome what if we got we had the matching walkie talkies and, we we and then we can instead be if our parents don't let us use the phone we can talk to each other <laughs> and we outside in the tent yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun dude. yeah no, that does, does sound cool that sounds pretty fun yeah <laughs> Yeah, the funniest thing is when they're the New- kind of winning. Honestly, the New York City Marathon happens, and you can tell that they need to like cross the street, and you'll see them like occasionally just go for it in in the middle of the marathon. Wow, they're like videos of it happening, but they're like, they're, like <laughs> 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 it's so funny, and they always have like a black bodega bag. Yep. Yeah, they're like yep. wh- like. <laughs> They're like runners, like just like trying to like go for their dreams. Yeah, and then just a, a guy with an ottoman on top of his head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the guy with a fucking footstool. That's on what top I mean. They the all dude. have like interests, but because it's such like an insular society, they're not allowed to express them. It's like Kamala. How there's things that she likes where they're like people. What can't do you know think about she this. likes? They are like Kamala. That's yeah. true. The Hasids. They're probably gonna. That's gonna be. That's who's voting for. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's got to like something. She probably like living rooms with a bunch of mirrors, a bunch of like biased mirrors. I think that's good. Like <laughs> like cat statues, like obsidian cat yeah, statues. Yeah, she like get. With the long she likes necks. to collect something. Yeah, right. Funko yeah. Pops maybe. Mm-hmm. She strikes me as someone she'd like buy like a picture frame and then just leave that <laughs> picture, whatever picture comes with it, and put a lot of those around her house. Yeah. Like the so like stock, a, what, a stock killer? photo person, yeah. That's bizarre. It, I know. Is, is that a type of person? No, but no, but that's, that's the kind scary. of thing she would do. Yeah, yeah it's like scary. a like a like a furniture warehouse. She probably has a cardboard television in her house. Yeah, she's like in a model <laughs> yeah, home. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> like one of those rooms at IKEA that you go to that they pre-set up. That video, of that guy fucking blazing. Hitting, yeah, dude, amazing. It's the best one. That's ever. so. Have you ever seen that video? No, uh, it's like some f- like fifty-seven-year-old man with like. Uh, like an American chopper goatee, right? Yeah, he's like, like three he's like a biker guy, and he's got his sons with him, his like juggalo sons, and he he does the like a huge bong rip, and then downs like doesn't he drink like a yard of beer afterwards? Yeah, he drinks like a pint, and he, then he, he does drinks a, a pint. Yeah, well, he does the thing where he takes the bong rip and then drinks. He does like what, the needle. What's that? Strikeout. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Strikeout. So he, he smokes a bunch of weed and then drinks an entire pint of beer and then he like lets it out and he's like, all right, let's go. And they zoom out and they're just in Ikea at the living room. So. <laughs> yeah, he just <laughs> rips. <laughs> That's when the internet was nice. Before it got scary. Is it scary now? I don't even know. Wh- X is scary. It's people getting killed. Yeah. Who's yeah. getting killed on there? Yeah, everyone. You, you see videos of just like cartel executions. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's not coming up in my feed. It's all Donald Trump and McDonald's. I get that too. Yeah. That's the nice part. I just don't. Here's what I do is I don't click on the videos of children dying. You I have the option. You have the option to just not watch those. But you stop scrolling. I mean, you that's what I do. I stop because I'm like, your, Jesus. It's always like, and like I'll Elon see a lot knows. of like. It's like an 18 wheeler and there's like a guy crossing the street and it looks like he's going to make it. And then it just like straight. It just like plows him down Mm -hmm. and people like scream. Elon did free speech, but free speech is scary. Yeah, that's what I found (laughs) out. It's really scary. It's hard R killing. Yeah. Fucking. So if Trump wins, he get they're going to set up. They're going to bring him in to fire everybody. Is that what's happening? 
What? If Trump wins and Elon comes into the government and he gets a job firing everybody? I think J.D. Vance gets to fire everyone. Okay. That's what they say Project 2025 is. Mm-hmm. And then they hire, I don't know. J.D. Vance is a very funny name. It it's like a, a middle-aged black, black guy name, name yeah. 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 Like he owns a furniture store. Yeah, or he <laughs> does like the the, the 8 o'clock news. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm J.D. Vance. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a it's a very like local Omaha like newscaster. Yeah. Woo! Smooth, dude. Baseball season, man. Yeah. What are we doing? Should we go to the World Series? Uh, you, well, you don't have any money anymore. <laughs> can you take <laughs> me to the World Series? <laughs> you just lost all your money betting on Cornell West. Can Can you take me to the World Series? We'll see what happens with Cornell, dude. Throw me. <laughs> and we'll go next year <laughs> with your millions of dollars. Here you go. We got a grounder we coming. I missed it. Oh. <laughs> it's coming back. I'm drinking my coffee. <laughs> so Mint Mobile. Yeah. It's the only phone you can eat. Yeah. <laughs> It's fresh. It brushes your teeth while you talk. It's like the new port of cell phones. I want to go on Shark Tank with a phone that has a toothbrush in it. So you can brush your teeth while talking to people on the phone. (laughs) (laughs) Why is that so funny? Now, Sharks, I know this may be a dumb idea, but I'm really just here to fuck Lori. (laughs) And then me walking out as the credits go. I didn't get a deal or what I wanted, but I did my best, and that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be at Cobbs in San Francisco, November 14th through probably the 16th, I guess. Cobbs, that's always fun. Come to that. They have a they have a uh, an original Xbox in the green room. Whoa. Yeah. Halo. Yeah, they have like uh, 2K3. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow, that sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, guys, this weekend, Denver Comedy Works. And then Works. I will be in Atlanta at the Improv. <laughs> this weekend, <laughs> Denver December. Comedy Works. They gave me 10 days to sell these tickets. Uh, it's going to be a, an absolute unmitigated disaster. Yeah. But please come. I would love to see you there. Are you vote? Do you vote? Are you a voter? I mean, uh, yes, but only because the polling place is like, uh, like a block from my apartment. So if I go to the train, it's there, and then you know I'm gonna go to the train every day. So it's like okay, well. So you vote in New York. Yeah, right. right. Um, but I I don't. I mean, I end up like with the last presidential elections, I go and then end up just voting for the Green Party candidate. Yeah, yeah. Because it's party. like there's no. I don't understand the point. Dude. It's a very anticlimactic thing, to pay attention to all this, and and you don't want to either. You know, it's just you have to. I, mean, I don't like want to pay attention to this. Well, you're just inundated with it. Yeah, right. There's exactly. No other option. Yeah, and then, and then you go and I get the. They let you keep the pen, which the pen is just for touching the screen. So it's not even. Have you got one of those where they're like, you can keep that? And it's like this isn't even a pen. It's a stylus. It's a stylus. <laughs> I don't need a. What stylus. am I gonna fucking do with this thing? <laughs> They're like it says I voted on it, <laughs> and so when I just go like go up to a woman in a coffee shop, check this out. You ever see a stylus before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I participate in the democratic process myself. <laughs> that smell, it's coming from my left side. <laughs> <laughs> I vote in PA still. I've lived in New York eight years. Oh, okay. So you maintain your, your, your yeah. power yeah. over the rest of us. Mainta- yeah, it's like the only state where it matters, right? I mean, there's like five states where it affects it's the really, presidential. It's really funny that the election does come down to like just guys in state college like playing beer pong at 37 <laughs> years old, you know? It's like yeah. those guys are like, yeah, I guess I'll vote. Fuck <laughs> it. I've, n- I've never done it before, but I guess I will. Who's Harris? That who's, guy sounds cool. Who's that black bitch? Yeah, I'll vote for. I'm voting for the fucking black lady, I guess. <laughs> and then, the, then that's who becomes president. Yeah. And then, if you live anywhere else in the country, it doesn't matter. It's president. <laughs> it's not. A, it's a. It's it's gotten us this far. Yeah. What else? It's this system, our our democratic system. Well, it's gotten us this far, and it doesn't feel like it gets you f- much farther. 
than this. What do you mean? Like it feels like the end of the road. You think this is the last election ever? I think by the time I'm dead, I'd be shocked if it was still 50 states in one country. No. It would shock me. No, it'll continue forever. It'll stay. Why? Because the most boring thing always is We'll probably kill everybody in Iran and... Yeah. (laughs) I mean, we're going to, yeah, we'll just launch a war. We're just going to kill a bunch of people. And, and then we'll all be yeah, probably. back Did together. Did you see that movie Civil War where it was like yeah. California, Texas versus the rest? I like yes. it. Yes. Yeah. I like that movie, but it didn't make sense why California and Texas would squad up. Yeah. I think that was the point is there was like no political agenda in the yeah. movie. It was like, and then they're together. So you have no idea what happened. I, I like that it looked like it was all why, shot though. in somebody's backyard. <laughs> like the whole thing. Yeah. I you thought know? it was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. I I don't think that... And then, it, yeah, it felt it felt a lot like uh, like a John Carr. It felt like Escape from New York to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't think that anyone is motivated to do anything about anything. Really? Would yeah. you say that's projection? What did you do and the day before yesterday? I was sick. Right. What? That's what I thought. Monday. <laughs> The most productive day of the week, nothing. What did you do Monday? I lifted weights. I did math. What kind of <laughs> math? I taught myself math. fucking calculus. Really? Yeah. What, like what parts? Like the, Limits? The differential stuff, you know. Like really? Like delta, yeah. You're, why are you learning math right now? Just in case. Yeah, that's true. Just China. in case. Like he said, there's not going to be many, you know, yeah, you got to fit in, dude. For China. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been learning abacus, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can be the merchant. You think that <laughs> you think we're going to keep that around? <laughs> the, those, we're definitely going to need one of those guys. You think when the, uh, <laughs> to the apocalypse? To the doesn't thing. abacus mean grandpa in Hebrew? No, that's Saba. Then what's a, what's abacus? Abba mean? is father. What's grandfather? Saba. What's great grandfather? What's your mom's dad? Saba. Okay, all right. I think you're wrong. I think it's Abacus. Why do you know so much about Jew? I don't know anything about... The well, same reason I, I know a lot about fucking calculus now. Yes. Yeah, you got to you gotta hedge your bets here. Unlike you, I don't put everything on Cornell West. <laughs> well, I... I don't know how this fucking... I went to Ireland on. to try and understand you a little bit better. The, no, you got to learn Chinese. You got to learn calculus. You got to enjoy the Trump McDonald's. Yeah. You got to figure out what Kamala's into and mm-hmm. get get your... Angle yourself, right? Because once those bombs start falling, you're going to need to quickly decide who you have allegiance to and prove it. Well, my allegiance is to you and my friends. No, I will not be there for you. Yes, it will, dude. Do you remember in 2016 when Trump was getting more popular when you earnestly asked me if I would hide you? He completely made this up. No, I didn't, dude. I mean, it was one of the funniest. He completely made this up. It's, it was that was <laughs> no. And he was he serious did it as a joke that he would hide me. He's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to hide no. you. No, 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 no. He was like, hey, his voice was shaking. <laughs> he was like, would you hide me? It's a funny joke. And I was that like, you're doing where? Right <laughs> where? You thought you thought that I thought Trump was gonna under the PlayStation controller. I don't have no <laughs> place to hide you. I don't. <laughs> you would hide me though. Yeah, but I would make it uncomfortable. I would build I would build the safe house myself and really just do a bad job. Like when they rebuild Flanders' house after the hurricane, <laughs> that's where you would be staying. Would I have Wi-Fi? When the door opens and it's just Barney's face. And he goes, come in, it's your master bedroom. That's where you would be staying. <laughs> what kind of food would you give me? Uh, the same thing they give the prisoners. We discussed that. Oh, that was before. Aramark. Aramark. Oh, but that's stadiums, isn't it? It's It's like... It's, it's prisons too. Prisons yeah. also. They yep. do prisons and, and stadiums. Colleges. Really? Yeah. That's that sounds evil. But yeah, they're very evil. I'm, yeah, I'm sure. I'm Are you sure. you worked for them? That's a Philly no, company, right? It's a Philly company. I never yeah. worked for them. I, they they catered at my school. Where'd UC you go? Santa Barbara. Oh shit. So they would they. You're from Cali? No, no I'm from, from Philly. Philly. I just went. There Why'd for you college. go there? What do you mean why? <laughs> I went to UC Santa Barbara once. It's very pretty there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's fucking awesome. It's a really beautiful place, Santa Barbara. It was like too much, though. I was like, I don't know if I could deal with this. I went back recently at 27, and I was like, this is fucking crazy. There's one street. It's like Bourbon Street for 18-year-olds, 
and everyone's hammer drunk. There's people like passed out. Everyone's crying. Uh-huh. It's like a it's like a post apocalyptic scene of only like children. Yeah, and yeah. every house is ha- they're puking and stuff. Puking everywhere. on the yeah. side while there's like cops arresting people. Yeah, yeah. Every night. This is every night. What made you want to go there? Uh, it was the only school I got into. Really? I mean, it's I got hard into to get into a UC from out of state. I Any think, UC. I think it's easier. You got to pay more, right? No, but it's the acceptance rates it's are lower. Are lower. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. I got into that in UVM, University of Vermont. <laughs> yeah. Get smoke rates. Sick, dude. I guess so. I remember like uh, the dumbest kids I went to school with all went to Boulder. Yes. Because they were like, the 420 they have there is the most epic 420. <laughs> They like chose their. What does that mean? They they like they like smoke the like the, the weed even more. I don't, yeah. yeah, it's, Which, it's so stupid. Yeah. By the way, when you smoke a lot more weed, it, it makes it less fun. It's, yeah, it's a worse time to get really high. I don't really smoke weed, but when we would go to those dispensaries in in the Berkshires, I always felt left out. I was like, man, I wish I enjoyed smoking weed. It's such a fun experience to yeah, go to the dispensary. Culture. Yeah, because it's like a future type of business, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's something that's not, it feels like thoroughly disconnected from any experience I had prior. Yeah. But they're all just making stuff up too. It's like, what is this a sativa? And they're like, that's a blend. That's always, and that's the funniest to me when I tell people like, I like, yeah, weed I don't really like. It doesn't really work for me. And they're like, oh, well, why? You're not it's like, the right. you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 and they yeah, want to like yeah. educate <laughs> me on like, yeah, you, well, you need a different blend or I something. Think, I'm like, did, no, did you know that's all bullshit? Uh, yeah, I would it's imagine. hundred percent bullshit. Yeah. It, right. It's all, well, it's the same, at the end of the day, it's the same chemical chemical compound right your brain's reacting it's to. THC, it's weed yeah right yeah i think um i've enjoyed weed i smoked it maybe f- a thousand times in my life and i've enjoyed it like f- five times <laughs> i remember seeing there will be blood in college oh jeez you remember when you were uh, selling when weed? i was yeah and that that you like that guy gave you that stupid weed and you were like what's this called death star and he's like yeah <laughs> I guessed it. Like, yeah, it was like some like there was like a fake name for the like maybe I said it or you said it, I can't remember. I said I'm gonna tell people it's called Death Star and then I text the guy and he's like, Yeah, it's called Death Star. <laughs> yeah, right, that's what it was. <laughs> we yeah. guessed it. Yeah. Yeah, because it was like tight and like circular mm-hmm. and guessed. dark. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. But th- I, that's when I stopped uh smoking weed was when I started selling it, actually. Really? Yeah, because I saw what it did to people's lives. <laughs> I went into the crack homes of the weed. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. People don't realize before before the podcast, Adam would like just sort of drive around the city in the back of like a Wrangler with no top, and he had a bunch of gold chains and yeah, you know, he'd I, wear parachute pants and I tried out uh, r- like running prostitutes too. But yeah, then I I couldn't find any <laughs> women <laughs> running. <laughs> I, was like, I was putting women on the blade for a while. <laughs> I tried uh I tried pimping uh for a bit but I couldn't I couldn't I was, find any I was laying out. down hose on the blade for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the love between a pimp and his bottom bitch I can't I can't describe to you how deep the love is. Mm. Really what it is is you have to break them and then make oh. them dependent on you. Oh. Yeah, and you have to dress like a dandy. You have to dress kind of like a foppish dandy. And then uh if they disrespect you you have to give that was them like one of the first hand. internet fight videos i remember was like guy that knows karate versus pimp and it was like a like a pimp who won the karate guy. yeah the karate guy just like spin kicks him and then gets into like, <laughs> <chop-ups>. <laughs> <laughs> just like kicks his head off and he's like fucking you know it's very funny he oh was, man he was probably smaller than the pimp yeah he's like the i, I don't it's like shot from like a like a someone's like apartment they were yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Way up. Kimbo Slice was the first. I said I don't. I don't see. I did see a gory internet video the other day. It was like fucking in Poland. This like guy shoots his ex girlfriend's fiance in the head, and then shoots himself. And it's also somebody just from their like apartment complex, just recording it on their phone. And it's like, why aren't these the like shot on the iPhone 15? Why aren't? Wasn't that the billboard? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's always like, a, oh, it's like a, it's a, like a, it's a Filipino baby. Yeah. A glistening baby from the Philippines. It's like a beautiful, like, and nobody's mountain. taking pictures like that on the iPhone. No. It's a Polish guy murdering himself. <laughs> <laughs> is that an ISIS hostage video shot right. on iPhone? If you go through my camera roll, 90% of it is screenshots with customer service departments. 
You know what I mean? It's like shot on the iPhone 15. It's like, no, I talked to Barbara on September 15th and they said they were processing and she the She fucking refund. lied. <laughs> yeah. And and I, I bet you that's not her real name. Yeah. And I've said numerous times, please do not use USPS to ship. I will send you a link to the local post office with a one star review. So, you know, I'm not lying about the packages being stolen. And what do they, they do? They are yeah. inept. They refuse to do their jobs. It's not my problem. Blame the federal government. But I'm not paying for this. I would like you to resend the Funko Pops. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't have Han Solo in stock anymore, <laughs> I, I'm going to well, kill I, you. I w- it's more than a refund I'm entitled to because this is a limited item. Yeah. I want the amount of money I would have to spend to go on eBay and find this now, which is $8,000. <laughs> 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 well, that's why I have them all screenshotted. <laughs> <laughs> I got into it with American Airlines. I'm done with them. What happened? The Am- American Airlines has the most comfortable seats. I'd say that, right? But they have no like other amenities. Yeah. So I would fly American Airlines, but they have the worst customer service. I had a, a like I I was in first class, flagship first, because I had to f- fly across country. Whatever, I don't care. I can't do it. Flat. I can't ride, ride fucking economy across country anymore. I can't do it. And it was one of those fucking lay flat seats. And on the way back from Irvine, it broke and got stuck down. Down? And yeah, and it was broken when I got on the fucking plane. And I wasn't like a dick about it. I told them, I'm like, hey, can you, like, this is broken. And they were like, oh, we can try resetting. Every, the answer is always, let me try resetting it. Yeah. Which means I'm going to go, yeah, right. I'm going to go, like, around the corner and just like you know stand there for a second come back like did that fix it <laughs> they did that with everything the and wi-fi it, they, they didn't do anything because it was like yeah. physically broken i sat down in the chair like conk and like it was like <laughs> fucking it was already broken i'm like well yeah i just guess I make a note of it and then i let them know because it's illegal right like you can't fucking take off with like they should have just bumped me or something yeah on a different flight and then uh yeah they were like oh yeah that sucks that was the response Wait, you took off Flat and Not landed completely flat? flat. It was like cocked back and then it went down all the way. And then I had to like physically, I could get it maybe halfway back up, but then it landed fucked up. Did you get your money back? No. No, I got literally nothing. They were Their just like, offer, oh, that's so too bad. sick if they strapped you to the thing like, yeah, uh, right. like Hannibal Lecter. Mm-hmm. They gave you like a, yeah, if you had to go mummy so style. I flew Delta this weekend. And what? Delta is now. Welcome. Attempting to serve Indian food on the plane, which that seems like more of wow. a risk than whatever the hell Boeing's doing with the doors. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like Delta Airlines presents chicken tikka masala. I don't think that's like. Did you get figure the card? out cheese first? You know what I mean? Did you get the card? Like, try what's that? Did you get the no, card? No, I'll never get an airline card. I, I bank with Chase. Nick, you got when you go to the lounge. And you're around fellow I don't business need to go travelers to the lounge because I know how to get to the airport on time. I get to the I get to the gate every time like two minutes before they start boarding. Every airport, I got them all timed out all you over the country. You don't understand what it's like to be around f- fellow captains of industry, thought leaders. No, I'm staying in my in hotel, right? I'm enjoying the 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 fucking commissary. I'm having a Reese's peanut butter cup and a couple of Advils. You know, my free toothpaste. The I'm commissary. Take, yeah. At the, Were you at Rikers? No, at, at the <laughs> fucking hotel oh, where they have the stuff. I don't think it's called the comm. I think that's what it's called. The commissary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel commissary. The commissary. Yeah, you know, when I'm you're, at the holiday when you're Selly, the luxury When your celly's making wine in the toilet. I'm at the holiday at my inn hotel. turning the cereal knob. Did <laughs> you exactly, which I want for my house, by the way, uh-huh. a knob that I turn and it dispenses exactly that is one nice. styrofoam. Yeah. That is yeah. nice. Yeah. That or is the nice. waffle machine, where you get, you have to get the plate and unwrap Those it and put great. it right and then you, you boop 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 one waffle, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it makes it. I got orange juice that I bought on Fulton Avenue from a vending machine last night, and I was like, this might be the most dangerous. This is like base jumping for me. <laughs> They have a machine filled with oranges and you like put your card in and it'll make you fresh squeezed oranges. Oh, I've seen those things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is yeah. it good? Uh, we'll find out. I mean, I got another, if I have diarrhea in the next th- yeah. three days and you can say no, that was probably a bad choice. That's a, no, that's a fool me once situation. Mm-hmm. I poop my pants because of uh, 
Oh, because of. Your, or, yeah, no, sure. because of the bodega oh, by your house. Oh, because of. Yes. <laughs> because of the bodega by your house. Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah, no, that's what it was. It was. It was. Uh, someone what was it? Called. What would you say it was? <laughs> yeah. What would you say it was? Listen, Nick? I pooped my pants, but there's a reason. <laughs> of course, there was a reason. Because of this. What do you mean? What did I what did, you, what did you have at the corner store? I had, okay, I had, uh, I had a breakfast sandwich. Then I had a, one of those Starbucks uh, double shot espresso. Drinks that was dusty AF. I don't know why I said AF just now. Pete, can you cut that? Okay, I had a cigarette, one of those uh, double shot Starbucks espresso things, and uh, and then a, a deli sandwich, and then I felt something wrong, and then I pooped my pants at your house. But it was from the deli. Did you feel a rumbling before the shit came out? Stav was in the bathroom, and I said, uh, "It's Stav. Uh, okay. It's an emergency." And you know, he, you know, he fucking that shit up. <laughs> you know, Nick. And so it's Stav's fault. It's the bodega's fault. It's Stav's fault. It's Starbucks's fault. It's my fault. Never okay. Been. Yeah. It's <laughs> something that will, will follow me for the rest of my life. I would also watch a show where he's just he's being cross examined constantly every day of his <laughs> life. Every day of his life, he's called to the stand. <laughs> And I, that's a, that's the type of government bloat I would support. Yeah. yeah. If the Justice Department was like, if he had to testify in front of the Senate, the Senate Adam <laughs> Committee, the Adam's Lies Committee, the <laughs> every day and it was on C-SPAN, you get to tune in. They're like, just a reminder, you're under oath right now. And it's not related to politics. Never, it's about yeah. this. Wait, 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 it's wait, about wait, shitting I, his pants. Yeah, exactly. Just, What's your favorite episode of Cheers? Because you said you're a big fan of the show. So... You can't um, name one episode? Yeah, let's go ahead and look at this. Oh, the one with Norm. That's your answer. <laughs> Do you want to elaborate on that? Because here we have this. Can we get this right? And there's like an A-frame set up with a blown up tweet of Adams. It says from five years ago, I've never seen Cheers. What's this? He's like, that's a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was satire. I was For saying my job as satirical. a comedian, I satirically Really? Because this is, and then they, 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 it drops down. There's like a little, like a, a curtain on it's it. It drops down and he replies to himself, this isn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Come on. It, it, I, I didn't say, will you hide me, by the way. I never said that, by the way. Uh, for I the, don't know. for the record. That has, I never said that. But that has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now. Well, you said you you made it see appear as if there just was a Matt, lie. Matt Gates's face getting tinier and <laughs> tinier, just it's shrinking into his skull as he questions Adam. These seem like lies to me, Mr. Friedland. You're lying to the American people. I'm just I'm just want to make them laugh, okay? I just want I just want to make people have a nice time. Yeah, well, you're not doing a very good job of that Where'd either. You get that? I yield my time. Are your socks? <laughs> did you wash those with another color? Because it's a nice yellow. I know. That's why I got them. You got them that color? Yes, Dick Sporting Goods. Big sale going on right now. Thirty percent off. Wow. I like Dick's those. Goods. I like those socks. They're really yeah. nice. Um that's what I call deflection, actually. Mm -hmm. What happened to that guy Trey Gowdy? He's on like Fox or something. He's not in the government anymore? No, no, no. That guy was awesome. Who's that? What'd he do? Trey Gowdy, he was like the senator from Georgia? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. He was like the yeah, and then he, he had the most fucked up haircut of all time. Yeah, he has a weird. He looks like Earthworm Jim, and he's got <laughs> fucking. He's he he was like big during the the Benghazi investigations. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Republican. Yeah, he was like uh, I forget which yeah committee he was on. But he yeah. looked kind of like a lesbian of a certain like a sixty. Three year old lesbian. Yeah, Ben. Yeah. He made his name That's with Benghazi, and then he had like four years of just hauling people in and being like, This is a picture of a woman's vagina who was raped by illegal immigrants. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> yeah. This is your fault. And I'd be like, I what, was. What do you have to say to the American people who are looking at a baby that was fucked to death by an immigrant? And then in I'd, fact, don't even answer that. Here's okay. another picture. <laughs> it's like, yeah. During the Adam hearings? Yeah. But yeah. then I think he was like, he's not a Trump guy. He like, he got mad about Trump. Really? Yeah. He cucked on Trump? I would imagine he'd be number one Trump. No, he was really mad about the Stormy Daniels thing. He's like, this is disgusting that a president would have sex. Oh. Yeah. He's a player hater? Yeah, he's a player Fuck hater. Fuck Trey Gowdy, dude. Yeah. Fuck that guy. I'm glad he's gone. Mm-hmm. 
That, um, that is the lamest reason to hate Trump for, yeah. for fucking a porn star. Well, so the latest voting? one now is that he worked at McDonald's for a day. Yeah. I mean, it's wild that they're even attempting Are they mad that. about it? They're mad about what it. What are they yeah. s- they're saying? I don't know. You just see, you see people on yeah social media being like, well, yeah, they're saying that he, he cooked the fries wrong nice. and this was staged. They got nothing like, on course, our boy. Uh, of course it is. Like, they got nothing staged. on our boy. <laughs> <laughs> like they what, have nothing what, on our, our, our uh, did, Was anyone under the impression that he was actually right. working at McDonald's? Right. My dad <laughs> my dad called me the other day and he was like, so get this, Trump was at a rally and instead of giving his speech, because he's bored of his stump speech, he just DJed and played music for 30 minutes. And he played Andrea Bucelli and stuff. And I was like, like uh, cool. I was like, all right. And then I watched it. Cause I was like, let's see, let's see. Yeah, what it's it like someone had a stroke and they had to call the paramedics or something, awesome. right? No, it's like a but vibe. That's, cool. But that's what it was. Is he it was, looked he so was giving, fun. He was talking, and then like some guy had a fucking heart attack, and he kept the vibe. Well, going. he asked, he asked him. He was like, "Do you guys just want me to keep talking, or should we just listen to music?" And they were like, "Let's listen to music." <laughs> he's awesome. Yeah, and he's like, "All right." <laughs> but honestly, it looked so fun. It's it's b- better than listening to a fucking stump speech. Is just vibing with yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. He's playing like, uh, yeah, the the Carmela song that she like taps her. I think people are mad about the McDonald's thing because it's so simple, and it's like I mean it works. Well, it's Kamala just, said she worked at. McDonald's. I know. Yeah. So they're like mocking her. He's like, well, I always, he said Trump goes. You know, I never worked at McDonald's, but I always wanted to. <laughs> That's <laughs> he so said that. Yeah, he said <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> Which it's like it's bullshit. Like you can't call him out for being a liar because he knows we all know he's lying. Yeah, we all know it's bullshit. But it's like it's funny. Damn, that's too funny. Did you, you see come him back at him? For I know, something right? That funny. Did and then meanwhile, you have that? like Obama rapping with Eminem the next yeah. day, and it's like this stinks. But well, that's the annoying thing about the. It's like the sincerity is really off-putting. Well, none of them are sincere. No, but the attempt at it. Oh yeah. That that because I don't I don't feel that Trump really tries that hard to be sincere, but I do feel that like Eminem. Did you see that speech that went viral of him, being like, "Yo, Detroit, real talk, you got to vote for Kamala." Mm-hmm. But he was like, "Well, insane as a clown Michigan, posse didn't insane clown posse endorse Kamala also?" Really. Mm-hmm. But Kid Rock is Trump. And then there's people on Twitter being like, this this signals big trouble <laughs> for Donald Trump. And it's like, does it, though? Is it, doesn't that seem like that's more of, like, you really need to be in a rough spot to be yeah. like, we need the insane clown posse <laughs> to endorse our, our, our candidate for, for president. For Michigan. Yeah. In, a, in a $2 billion campaign. <laughs> <laughs> we need the insane clown posse. Yeah, when my dad called me and he was like, Dick Cheney just endorsed Kamala, I was like, how far how far right wing is this country? Here's my now? question, too, because this is developing. There's this guy who's now just declared himself the rightful president of Iran, right? Oh, yeah. Iran? Pahlavi, yeah. Okay. He was like the son of the f- former Shah. Of the Shah. Yeah. Can I be president of Iran? <laughs> Because we're not holding those elections there. We're deciding it here. <laughs> and I think I... Did anyone else get a chance to put their name in? No. So, me. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Right. Fuck him. I'm the president of Iran. Let's get that on... Uh, what do you call it? On that website. Yeah. I'm going to put... I'm going to try to win my money well, we back We should have like some kind of formal election, and I will run against him as the rightful president of Iran. And if there is, if they do somehow do a coup and there's regime change, I will go over there and govern. <laughs> and you'll do your Mersham voice? I think I would have to draw. I think everything I've ever said is probably illegal there. So <laughs> I would need to work out some kind of clean slate thing. And then we'll have to do like a Hannibal Lecter setup for the first year <laughs> until I know what you're allowed to say and not allowed to say. <laughs> You could run in like a... It would probably suit. take me two years to figure out how to tie the turban. Do they have turbans around? Yeah, they have like the the mullahs have like a special... It's like fucking like... It's like a 10 foot long scarf and you have to wrap it on your knee and then you put it on your head. That's so sick. Wow. Yeah. Theirs is very involved. But Ahmadinejad never would just wore like... Uh, he looked like he was just going to yeah, work. Yeah, Hugo Boss. Well, he just looked like he worked at like Springfield uh, at the nuclear plant with with Homer. Dude, let's go to the World Series. <laughs> you don't have any money. I don't need it. I just vaped. I, I just, just want to play catch. 
That, cl- say, that catch got, felt so we clean. Got gloves. We can go to the park right after this. Do you have the gloves right now? Yeah, they're in the they're in the bag of of sports equipment that's in here for some reason. Let's go. <laughs> How, we have two gloves. We have two gloves. We have a bat. We've got about twenty balls. Let's go we Madison Square roller. Park. Yeah. There's no room. Uh-huh. We're just doing home run derby. <laughs> yeah. In like girls with sweet green. Uh-huh. Like just girls like <laughs> marketing girls getting sweet green, just hitting liners into their faces. Yeah, Not playing up on the a Lego field. store. It's a park. Yeah. Just go in the Lego store and smash everything. And they're like, what are you doing? You're like, fucking rebuild it, dude. It's Legos. <laughs> I mean, What's the problem? I thought that was the whole point of this shit. I like to free build, dude. I don't like the sets. Mm-hmm. Um, do you do that? You do free building Legos at home? I did as a kid. It was a, a thrill. What a brag, dude. <laughs> what, what a brag. I didn't say it as, as a brag. A, as, as a kid, dude, I would play with Legos. <laughs> that wasn't a brag. I'd come up with my own stuff. No, my parents just never got me the fucking Death Star or anything. They what would you build? What's your, what's your number one Lego build? Like, uh... Pyramids at Giza. Oh, okay. Free build. All right. Did yeah. you do the insides too? So you could open it up and it's like a diorama. Well, I yeah. would never go in those pyramids, by the way. I don't know if I've ever said that before. I don't I see the videos of people doing that. I'm like, this seems like they go in them? Yeah, they go in the pyramid and it's like that seems like a really bad idea. I didn't even know that. I don't think my building is safe and it's a hundred years old. Yeah. I would not go in a, a stone from ten million years ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially one that was designed to hold dead bodies. <laughs> it just seems haunted. Yeah. Yeah, it seems bad. What's but th- I would get... What? What's the vape thing? What's the what's the toss in the vape? You do that every time? I don't well, know, but the toss aspect in and the catch aspect is really just... It's and, not... And the, the, the World Series, it's really just getting my juices flowing on, on this catch th- situation. After this, we're going to go... You should bet on the World Did Series you? to offset your Cornell West loss. Okay. Well, who would you bet on, though? Well, you would bet. You have to bet on the Dodgers. Yeah, I'm gonna bet on the Dodgers, but they're not gonna do it. Dave Roberts fucks it up every year. That's so not like the, that's not the, the gambling Phillies? spirit. Yeah, Matt stares into the night. Yep, that was a big moment. So for you're you? a big baseball fan? No, not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, yeah, that was a huge moment growing but up. But my dad really needs this right now. He needs the Dodgers and Kamala. Oh, he's a Kamala guy? Oh, he needs Kamala to win. Oh, okay. So, uh, if you guys like my dad, <laughs> please vote for Kamala Harris. <laughs> but don't you need don't you need Cornell West to win? Why are you hawking for Kamala now? <sighs> it's more important that the old man is happy. Yeah, that's true. Uh, His dad's had a rough okay. one. I, you know, I'll vote for Kamala just for... I kind of will for him. Yeah, just for Adam's dad. Psych. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, maybe for my dad. He really, it'll really make him happy. He thinks that Vladimir Putin is trying to kill him. So him personally. Yeah, yeah. He's What's watched he do? enough Maddo to, to think, think that yeah. yeah, if Trump wins, he will be sent to Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> yeah. it, it the the way that old people are acting right now, yeah. as if it has any impact on their lives. Yeah. Like literally, they it doesn't matter at all to them. Yeah. Um, They're going to make the New York Times crossword illegal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, yeah if, you can't play Sudoku wins, anymore. Yeah, right. No more crossword puzzles. <laughs> yeah. No, I, 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 I hope that those two things happen more so for him than any, uh, anything else. Yeah. The Dodgers are... I, I've watched a little bit of the postseason, and the Mets, honestly, were like kind of more fun. But... Uh, I don't really like baseball anymore. I wish this election was over already. It's given me a lot of anxiety. <sighs> and See. I don't have... It's like, I'm not... It shouldn't. What you are know you know anxious mean? about? I just want it to be done. Yeah. 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 And move on. Talk about something else. Like Gladiator 2. How That's was the next it? thing. On It doesn't come out till after the election. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm ready to be excited about that. It's like the politics have just not stopped for a decade now. And I need it to, me personally, I need to stop. We need yeah. to get back to, yeah. to Gladiator 2, fucking up the Lego store, having fun. <laughs> Let's just have fun right now. Let's play Catch in the Park. Okay. You want to come? I, yeah, I mean, I throw yeah. Okay, we only have two gloves, though. Well, then that's going to make it tough. Okay. It's <laughs> like can, I'm, I'm yeah. inviting you over to my house to play video games, but it's a one-player game. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and I'm you like, can watch no, me no, play no, Skyrim. No, let mm-hmm. me die one more time, one it's more time, one more time. But he's using both controllers. <laughs> Do you remember that rich kid who had all the consoles? Oh, yeah. And you had he, to be nice to him? Yeah. Even though he sucked? Yeah, yeah. I had, but he I had, had every console? I had a friend, I had a friend Adam, also South African Jewish uh, when I was a kid, yeah, yeah, and I would do, I'd go over to his house, and his mom would scream downstairs and be like, "Are you letting Nick play?" And then he'd go, "Yes," and he'd be, and he'd be go, "Don't tell her, <laughs> don't <laughs> tell her <laughs> that he wasn't." Yeah, <laughs> but I had fun. I liked watching. And then he would piss in the his basement. It was a finished basement, but still had one of those utility sinks. And he would take a break to piss in the sink. Wow! I instead of going upstairs, he yeah, used the I used to do that too when I played yeah, video yeah, games. Yeah. There's something about being a kid; you don't want to see your parents uh-huh. when you've been playing video games for four and hours. Then, and then the real treat—they had ice cream sandwiches. Oh, that's yeah. So down mainly, in the basement? No, I don't no. recall those being in the basement. Okay, they could have been, but I don't remember that. Yeah, but I just remember, boy, when those ice cream sandwiches came out. Now we're talking. It's we were a healthy food household, so I'd have to go to my friend's house for junk food. It sucked. Yeah. My mom used to let me put... Yeah, Adam put just ate like crickets and brand. whatever they could catch in the web, I guess, yeah. for the most part. So caterpillars and butterflies, <laughs> dirt mostly. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> There was a hole filled with ants, and he was lying on my ass. He would stick his today. tongue into the hole, and it would this come out weekend, covered in ants. Denver, Colorado, <laughs> the twenty fifth and twenty sixth. <laughs> They've given me ten days to sell twelve hundred tickets. Probably, Jesus. I think I've sold about eleven tickets. So if you want to come, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of walk ups there. You got nothing to worry about. That's a that's that's I a, hope that's, so. a good, that's a good. That's one of the best club. clubs in the country. Great club. I. We, that's where Nick did a special. I I really enjoyed being there. Denver is a great place. Uh, I'm flying my cousin out. If you want to meet my cousin Jared, Co- he'll to be to out do there. Sets? He, he's a comedian, or no, just, just to, hang? to spend time together. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Well, hang out in the green room. He was. Well, I don't know if I can Adam say will this. Collect stories. That I don't know if I can say this. <laughs> he'll fly him out there, and then he'll he'll come on the show the week after. Be like, here's. Here's how annoying he was, <laughs> and then put him on blast. Publicly. No, no, I don't. You know, family stuff. I'll tell you after. <laughs> I'll tell you after. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank thanks for you. listening. Bye.